for substitution ciphers, rather than trying all possible keys, we can use the frequency of letters. For example, here is the frequency distribution of English letters. Now let's do an exercise together. With the frequency distribution of English letters, can we figure out the plain text for this following ciphertext? To start, we notice that the letter Q here in the ciphertext is the most frequent. And we know that in plain text English, the letter E is the most frequent. So there's a high probability that Q is in fact the plain text letter E. Then we can look at the three letter words. For example, here and here. Now we know that Q is in fact E. So both ending E, these two three letter words. So most likely one of them would be the, T-H-E, the other one would be R, A-R-E. So here we're going to start to use the knowledge of English language. In other words, what are the common words or what are the legitimate words in English to help us uncover the plain text. For example, we can see if we say H is A and R is the, then we have uh, two letter words here, HR. In this case, if H is A and R is T, that will be at, which is a commonly used two letter words in English. And also if H is A, then we have this three letter word that has two letters the same. So if H is A, then this can be R. So we can continue with this process by using our knowledge of the English language to uncover the plain text. Here we use both the frequency distribution of the English letters and our knowledge of English words to help us. If you continue with this process, you should be able to uncover this following plain text. We will meet in the middle of the library at noon. All arrangements are made. In practice, in addition to the frequency distribution of English letters, we can also consider the frequency of letter pairs or even triples.